Sometimes you get an idea that just won't, won't leave you, you know, and, uh, and kind of begs to be finished. So I had this idea, I'll show you. I'll count this in so you hear where one is, okay? One, two, three, four. bass is doing, it's anticipating the beat. So the first one's on the beat. So one, two, three, four. So I like that idea, but it needed to lead me somewhere. So this is what I wrote. Here it is. it up so the melody has a flow to it and then you've got to practice it with a metronome so this constant groove keeps going because there's a lot going on and the only way to make it really not sound too complicated is to make it groove and so when I when I uh, when I when I need to do some housework on that song I just turn the metronome on and play play along with it you know so trying to get that by tapping my foot here you know so. I'm trying to treat all the backing as something bubbling away, but the melody is what I'm focusing on. So when I play tunes like that, 
I'm not thinking about the skill of playing that song because I've already put the work in. I'm not thinking of the skills at all. I'm listening to the melody and trying to make the melody feel as good as possible. That's what I'm doing. That's what's really going on up here. Because all the other stuff, the, the technique of playing it and the skill of, of playing all those things has already been taken care of. I've already practiced it and practiced it and got it to a level where I can just concentrate on the melody and let everything else take care of itself. And that, that's the only way that you get to that point, is practice it enough. You know, I wrote it in 1994. I still play it, I still love playing it, and uh, it's still a challenging song to play. So, any other questions at this time? Yes, sir? Um, on a technical level, yeah. can you share some tips about combining chords and melody, because you do it so well? Chords and melody? Yeah, like, I find a lot of acoustic players, myself included, get stuck sometimes just playing a lot of rhythm and they don't know how to Add interesting. All right. Interesting well, you got to learn some good songs. Yeah. That, that's you know, it doesn't matter if you haven't written it, as long as it's a good song and, and it has good melody with 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 good chords. The moment you start doing that, you can never go back from that. You know what I mean? You can never play something that isn't melodic and has a nice structure and a good melody against chords. Once you've done that enough. The, whatever you've done before is gone and down the river because it was just part of the tr of the, um, the road that got you to that point. So, you know, uh, along the way, I've tried to learn all kinds of songs. I'm just playing some of my songs tonight, but I know a lot of other songs. I know I know quite a few standards because I had to learn them. You, you see, 